Hi friends, it's Monica and let's talk about some recent romance reads. Since summer is rapidly approaching, I thought it would be a timely video to talk about some of my recent romance reads and recommend you some summer reading. Before getting started, I do want to mention about the ongoing wildfires that have been affecting Canada and I think recently you would have seen in the news about the smoke also affecting the United States. But especially in Atlantic Canada and Nova Scotia, there have been many families displaced by these wildfires. So I do want to put a link in the description if you are willing and if you're able to donate to Red Cross to help with the humanitarian aid in Nova Scotia and Atlantic Canada. That would be very much appreciated. Other than that, I did pick four books for this video and let's just get right into it. First up, we have Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. This one is about two ER doctors who really have a dislike for each other. Especially for Brianna Ortiz, she is recently divorced and struggling to find a kidney donor for her ill brother. But who is, of course, a perfect match for the kidney donation is our love interest, Dr. Jacob Maddox. And what do you know, along the way, Brianna might just fall for his endearing charm. These two are recovering from failed relationships and this brings up a lot for both of them. For Brianna, she is learning to believe and choose love again. While Jacob, he deals with social anxiety and with his failed relationship is with his ex-girlfriend now engaged to his younger brother. Which brings a lot of distress for Jacob and Brianna gets roped into this with being a fake girlfriend for Jacob for all the wedding related events. I did really love the way of how this relationship highlighted how social anxiety can be and how Jacob finds ease within this new relationship with Brianna. Of course, there is the undeniable attraction and chemistry between these two that does build up. And I really think Brianna and Jacob really meshed well together. We also do get a cameo from characters from Abby Jimenez's previous book, Part of Your World, Alexis and Daniel, so it was fun to see them. Overall, I really did love Yours Truly for its sweet and endearing romance. Next up on my list is Things You Save in Fire by Catherine Center. We follow Cassie, who is a badass firefighter and paramedic who has to transfer firehouses from Texas to Boston to help out her aging mother. At the Bostonian firehouse, Cassie is faced with old school thinking, with her being the only lady in the firehouse, and the only person who's nice to her is the rookie. This one, I absolutely loved it, of course, and I think that Cassie really goes through a journey of learning to heal from heartbreak, learning to forgive again, and also to believe in love again. I love the quick snappy dialogue as well as the building tension between Cassie and the rookie. There is also a slow burn romance in this book. There's fake dating and hiding from co-workers about their mutual attraction. The ending is reminiscent of a happily ever after but there are many ups and downs to get to that point. I also like how this book highlighted that Cassie is a woman in a male-dominated field and she is succeeding at being a firefighter. I really did like the insight of seeing into what a potential firehouse culture might be like and to see how the teen dynamics are and that strong familial bond that all these firefighters form with each other because they are really going to life in death situations. But overall, I really, really love this one. <laughs> Next up is Happy Place by Emily Henry. This one follows a longtime couple, Harriet and Wynne, who are going on a annual vacation with their friends. But the twist here is that they actually have been broken up for months and they decide to pretend that they are still together. I really had a lot of fun with this book and knowing Emily Henry, she does a lot of romances based on vacations. And we do see how Harriet and Wynn eventually got up to the point of why and how they broke up. And also with the strenuous pressure to keep up appearances to their friends in present day, it ends up that they both have a lot of personal growth to do, which they end up conquering by the end of the book. Both of them discover that it's okay to let the outside world's opinions fall away, to just simply trust yourself and to follow your heart to do what's best for them. 
Some tropes in this book were the one-bed trope, fake dating, second chance romances, and also friends to lovers. I also really loved how the group of friends in this book brought out the aspect of found family. This is actually my second favorite book from Emily Henry after Beach Read Now, and I really highly recommend it. Last but not least, we have Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. This time, we are following B and Levi in a STEM-based romance. B is the lead on a newer engineering project at NASA, which is a dream come true for her. But the twist is, is that she has to co-lead with someone. And guess who it is? It is a old arch nemesis from grad school. He's Levi Ward, he's tall, dark, and handsome, and things <laughs> do kick off quite quickly with them. B is a type of character to be quite rambly at times in her thoughts and her words, but that doesn't take away the aspect of when her project starts going awry and problems start popping up and Levi is the only one who is helping her out. And that's where their romance really starts to pick up from friends to lovers. It was really fun to see how shocked B was to figure out that Levi and her have quite similar interests and lifestyles. Other themes explored in this book that really did add to the contemporary aspect and really highlights the STEM aspect, how there is a lack of women in STEM, the politics in science in general and within large institutions, as well as the outdatedness of standardized tests. So I really do like how Ali Hazelwood does focus on some of the STEM field aspects that can be problematic. In the end, Love on the Brain does have a great buildup of the tension of the romance as well as a really great ending. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Those are all the four books I want to talk about and recommend to you all. I hope you all had a lovely day and I also hope you can give me a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all in my next one.